Hello, this is Daryl Castle, folks, and sometimes people ask me questions. One of the questions I was asked recently is, how is the opioid epidemic, the opioid crisis, if you want to call it that, different from the normal drug problems that we have here in America, like people might be addicted to heroin, to cocaine, or some other, what we call street drugs, as opposed to opiates like oxycontin, oxycodone, fentanyl, and the like, methadone. The difference is, is that the opioids are perfectly legal. They're not street drugs. Uh, you don't have to go out and rob somebody to get the money to, uh, to buy your drug. It's prescribed legally by your doctor. See, doctors were convinced about 20 years ago that it was okay to, uh, to give people these things for pain. So uh, they started prescribing them to people who had chronic pain. Somebody got injured, had a serious injury. They get opiates. Somebody had uh, um, arthritis or some other chronic problem, they get opiates. Well, it created a whole bunch of addicts. Another group of addicts were veterans who, uh, who had wounds from uh, service, sometimes terrible wounds, and they would uh, be given these things both on the battlefield and back at home. And they became addicts, so there's millions of addicts out there, folks. And here's the other difference between uh, that uh, epidemic of addiction and the ones that we refer to as street drugs. Not only is the opiate epidemic uh, uh, perfectly legal, it's also free for most people. That's the good part about it for the addicts, see? It's mostly free because the government pays for all of it. These, these are legal prescriptions, either, either uh, paid for by the government through Medicare, Medicaid, or some other type of uh, policy or by private insurance, so uh, people can, uh, now there's, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of uh, uh, illegal activity with the opioid line of pain relievers. Many people do buy them on the street. Many people get prescriptions and sell them. That's just the way it is. Well, not the children though, folks. The babies born to addicted mothers, that's what I'm about. That's what I am trying to help right now. All these babies, thousands of them here in the state of Tennessee, born to mothers who took these things during their pregnancy and ended up with a baby that had neonatal abstinence syndrome. You know any children like that, folks? If you do, you call me. You can talk to me for free about it.